Donkin' around box. I forgot about that. He got folded. He he got he got oh he got that dirt. We are back on Dong and Rampa. Trigger happy. Havok. And I got a candy cane in my mouth. What else the point? We're back on Dong and We're back on Dong and Rampa. Trigger happy habit. I do not know how I'm gonna eat this candy cane. <laughs> how I'm gonna play the game with this candy cane. But what it matter? Uh, let's get into it. Ah, right, that's gay. All right, so in the last episode, we had the class trial, our first class trial in which, okay. Sayaka died and during the commotion Junko died so we went we went and we tried to figure out who killed Sayaka you know how it go you know how it be we did the we did the investigating during the class trial it was revealed to be Leon and so Leon is now dead this is real business here Leon's dead we have three, three of our people are dead now. So. Yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Three of our people are dead now. And as you can see, we're, we're just lost for words. We don't know what to say. I don't even blame, bro. <laughs> it's gone. This is where Saika died. This is where her body was. It's gone. She. She really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Saika's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay, no need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> watching our wa watching people die is not good for our healthy mm, I, I hate you. I didn't even have time to mourn Saika and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. Headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Sorry, I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? No! Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time! I was just about to go get you and drag you back here! Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? <laughs> I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Taka, this isn't- No, this isn't the time for that. Hey, come that's on. That's not funny. Jesus, that's messed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. It's like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay inside his room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto. Um. Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Hmm. Is I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. Like, why are you always coming in here with negativity and hatred? Always coming in here with negativity and hatred. You the devil, bruh. You got the devil in you, bro. 
Go see Jesus, bro. Go talk to Jesus, bro. What's up with you? Oh, four-eyed glasses freak with your dang aquamarine blue eyes thinking you from Ochinoko, you piece of trash. Oh, my Lord. Huh? We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, it's a question of when, if not when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself- SHUT UP! DON'T LOOK AT ME! Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, finding a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. I don't like this dude. Um... How about you come up with actual ideas instead of knocking down every other idea? You know, like you're not helping anything. At least she's coming up with plans. She's trying to do something that's gonna help. All you're doing is just saying, no, that's wrong. That doesn't work. No, you're stupid. You're not saying anything because you know you're going to say something stupid. And I don't want to hear you talk either. Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever expected. They took over at Hope's Peak. I I'm going to try and add her accent into this, but I don't really remember what her accent was, so don't, don't flame me. They took over at Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. I don't, I don't know if I'm doing it right. I don't remember what her accent was. I just know she had one. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned out to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them would be too great a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. So you're gonna kill me, huh? You gonna kill somebody? That what you gonna do? You gonna kill somebody? I'll kill you first and get up out of here. No, nope. keep playing with me. No. No. What? No what? I, I can't I don't, take it. I don't wanna live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't wanna kill anyone. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. But... But... So, um... If we haven't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. What are you on about? Chihiro, listen, you're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, or not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happened. You have no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would happen to us if we refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at that mastermind. That boy Makoto with the wisdom. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Oh, and one other thing. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on. Sayaka, Aoi, and Sakura were all in the dining hall after hours. So doesn't that mean they broke the rules? It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. Monokuma, kill yourself. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you, even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. Not so funny. be well aware 
of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, that's, that's weird. He does this every night. This is actually him saying the exact same lines every single night. You got to memorize or is that just another part of your like, you know, your little stupid character that you like to do? Yeah. What was that about just now? Was he saying it's our fault that happened? It's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. A piece of crap. Who does he think he is? And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Saika, Junko, and Leon. But this was just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. I hope he dies. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us to the gym. What's he gonna do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear. Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Okay, lift your arms up and down. What are we doing? One, two. Now reach Crap. way up. There we and go. And bend way down. That boy said bend over. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. What is going on? Ah, <sighs> oh, doesn't it just feel great? Being stuck inside like this, gotta make sure to stay healthy. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff, that's my motto. Yeah wow, think I sounded pretty cool just now, don't you think? No. Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So why did you- OH, THAT'S COLD! So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't just to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? JUST TO MAKE YOU EXERCISE?! Hey. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry! What is bro on about? Now if you keep doing these exercises, you'll discover the secret of the assassin's fist! <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours! Hmm? Sounds like some junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Oh, wait, hold on, wrong person. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you realize call us down here just to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? It's okay, so then... Get on with it. Hmm. I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak... A whole new world will open up to you. What the heck? A whole new world. You guys? Why are you mad? It really suck if you have to stay here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD and autism and HIV. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead and look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. I can't wait to blow up. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he's shown up. But a whole new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. I think I had the accent right. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know till we look. Why? Stop calling me that! My goodness! Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll show what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one trick pony, and why so much hatred in your heart? Why? Just hush! If you're such a genius, then you should stop being so hateful. Got it. 
More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. What? Seeing his words as a signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. He's good at taking control. I mean, he don't be talking about nothing half the time, but he can take control, and that's pretty good. Let's get up. Let's get up. Who is this, bro? Get up out of here, dude. I don't want to talk to you. Tom Holland. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> oh, snap. Mm, freaking Kirkhead. -Kirk. Those other places should be open now, I assume. Yeah, right there. Next floor is open. The gate that was blocking the stairs has been open. Is what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? If so, what's up there? Oh! I don't know what he said! I had no auto! Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Oh, there's a pool. Okay. It's a classroom. Hey, Sakura. I see. I just drew make a close look around. I feel like the pool is what's really what they really want us to see. So I'm gonna check that out last. Right, let's see what the library be back. Let's see what the library be back. Is my goat in here? My goat's in here, my goat's in here. Not my bestie, but my goat. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. I like the library has been neglected for a pretty long time. Nice the school itself is. Whoever's in charge of the upkeep has been pretty lazy. The thick layer of dust on top of the desk. I got a fast coin. I don't. What's this? The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter? What's this? Host Peak Academy? Indeed. It was buried under a it was buried under a thick layer of dust. Must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. I kinda agree with Kyoko. I broke the seal off the dusty envelope and pulled out a, the single piece of single bleh, single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there from Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history of an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on active leadership roles in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, no Kanye West, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now. And I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operation. What does this mean? Hmm. The contents of the letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem, it would seem Hope's, Peak, Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. Judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to say, this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak Academy closed down at least a year ago? <laughs> Most likely, the mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on his little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. But I didn't get that sense at all. 
Plus, the school had shut down. Don't you think it would have been all in the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. So, in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of everything. Anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. However... If it is real, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. But that would be that would be a nice simple solution. It's true. But then what about this other part? Serious issues. We intend to reopen our doors once the issues are resolved. What did they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close down. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. Yeah. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. We could figure out why they want why they would want to imprison us all here. Would that be enough to get us out of here? Or I mean, he kind of already said why, you know? He wants y'all to feel despair. He wants y'all to suffer. It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online, see what's going on in the real world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. I guess I'll talk to these bums. You, you must be pretty ha- Oh, wait. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed. There are a plethora of books, it's true. But the content seems lacking. You know nothing! Where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? Mm -hmm. Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukua. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My heck? stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. <laughs> oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly in the boy on boy action. <laughs> Boy on boy, I don't care if it's an anime, comics, or fanfic, or whatever. Oh, it's all you. filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, stop talking about it. It makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Bro, what is she on about? I don't wanna. I don't wanna be near neither of y'all. I'm not talking to you. You make me mad. Kill yourself. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. I guess I'll talk to you. Hmm. But still, this library is most interesting. What's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. Bruh! Why? Stop talking. Sh I asked the question! Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these comic books. They have all these books and not one copy of any of my words. Oh well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you don't get it, not at all. <laughs> I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me. But never judge a book by its author! You know nothing! Now hear this! Appearances mean nothing at all! What you see before you is nothing more than a rhyme that contain- oh. Here we go! Shut up. They make me mad. I know, she doesn't even make me mad like that. He makes me mad. I don't like the way he talks. I don't like what he talks about. Oh, what's behind this door? 
in some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. That's true, I don't recall. I don't really have any reason to check it out. Check it out anyways. Check it out anyways, goofball! See, that's why you can't get nothing done! Talking about, I can't imagine a reason why I would check it out. Check it out anyways! What reason do you need besides it's there and suspicious? I'm going to the pool. Aoi Asahina! Just a second! Oh, Makoto, guess, hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool, 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 pool! You don't have to keep repeating it, I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Hina seems way more excited than usual. <laughs> the second floor is opened up. The living room has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial might not may not be so bad. <laughs> I don't imagine Celeste killing anybody, honestly. I don't I don't imagine her killing anyone. Neither do I do Aoi. But you know, you never know. Something might change later on that actually gives them a motive. Like, you know, like, they might come friends with somebody and then they might die. And then it's like, oh, well, my last remaining friend that I actually rocked with is dead. I, I don't want to be here no more. I'm gonna just take the risk. Hey, Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No, I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But, but still, it sounds like the locker room here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to, I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. If you want to get stronger, I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. You don't even want to go in the locker um. room? It's not that I don't want to, it's just, I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? It's a pretty weird phobia though. Bunch of different pool related items on the show. I got a fast coin. Is that a gun? <sighs> How did I not see that before? How am I just now seeing that? Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why don't we need something like that here? Okay. The locker rooms connect to a pool. It looks super nice and big and fantastic to swim in. Oh, I'm beyond excited right now. I can't wait to dive in. In fact, I'm getting kind of mad thinking about it. Why are you getting mad? The locker room. This is the girl's locker room. I, I messed it up. This is the girl's locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? Indeed, indeed, indeed. I, I am a true gentleman after all. This kind of card reader, I wonder what it's for. Behind this door is the locker room. Yeah. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get in the locker rooms. Really? Of course. <laughs> really, really? Oh. Whoa! Hmm. If you want to unlock the locker room, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. You have to swipe your personal ebook across the card reader next to the door. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open a boy's locker room. And the same goes for the girls. And that's the bottom line, because Monokuma said so. Uh, uh, but what if someone opens a door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. They will be gunned down. Oh my lord. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yahoo! It'll be all duka 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 duka. Just a second. I bet it really hard to get shot by that thing. Um. Oh no, I think it'd be a little a, a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? 
A boy could borrow a girl's handbook and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <laughs> what? That never even occurred to me! To think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish! Hmm? Hmm. Okay, how's this sound? I got it. Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. <laughs> there! So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? That's because my brain is 100% cotton! Honestly. I'm not using an accent no more. I feel like I'm butchering it. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! You're at the age when you tried pumping a plastic bottle! Who would do that? Who would do such a thing? That is disgusting! Who would... Who would do such a thing? So to keep any unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask you to keep the same close eye on our dorms. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there will be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes. Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. By force? Rape? I hate you so much! See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya! <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it! Celeste, you here, you wanna come with me? As for me... There's nothing, there's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll have to pass this time. <sighs> How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I'm sure that only applies to you, but... Anyways, now I have a pretty good idea of what's on the second floor. I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do is hope someone else found something worthwhile. <sighs> I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Listen to me. Okay! Ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover anything interesting and new? Anything new? Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms full of exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no need to get, there's no reason to get all sucky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor in the dorms are now open! You hear me? And now the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want! There's so much it's insane! <laughs> so go ahead and stuff your gills whenever you feel like, ha ha! Are you okay with this? Keep in mind that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, what about a freaking way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh, well, uh... What? There wasn't what? anything in the warehouse we could use to get out of here? Nothing? Uh, Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You freaking people. What? Who cares if we have a pool or a warehouse or whatever the freak? Stop fucking around. We're still trapped in this school. We need a dang way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is key, yes? But now we need to find our way out and enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you freaking loon. But now... <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should discover something. So then... So are we done for the day? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. 
I feel bad for Kia Taka. Like, he be so hyped. He be so ready and so enthusiastic. Get, every, like, get everybody pumped up and, and ready to work. And then every single time, what the freak is up with bro's head? What is up with bro's hair? Oh, oh, that's dude behind him. That is such a weird angle. The air seemed to grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan to give us hope? Then to turn around and betray that hope? He's the killer! He's the killer! Ahem! Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly, strictly prohibited. prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't, Don't let, let the bed bugs bite. We all promise not to leave our rooms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll go to bed. It's a bop. I ain't gonna lie. Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma! Do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average, too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. You see Monokuma? what I mean, right, Monster Monokuma? Are you making fun of me? You gonna watch how you talk about me, dude. I touch little bears like you. What? Look, I was just thinking about that one's clip in Persona 4. Uh, when I played Persona 4. And, and I threatened to touch Teddy. I don't know why. I thought about... I, 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 was, I wanted to make a, a, a bear-specific threat. And when I thought about bears, I thought of Teddy. When I thought about a threat towards Teddy, I thought about when I threatened to touch him in the game. So... Uh... <laughs> bro, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean anything by it! I don't touch bears! Alright? It's a misunderstanding! Good morning, morning everyone. everyone! It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day! Oh, that's. I wanted to let you know that your e handbooks have been updated. Oh. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before! You must be referring to losing, loaning your EU handbook. Right now, I need to hurry and head to breakfast. That's the end of this episode. It's a pretty short one because it was a pretty short one. But I think, I, I mean, look, okay. I like to format my videos, all right? I like to format them. And the way, li like last chapter, it was like, you know, the, you had the little prologue and then you had one day and then the next day was stuff. And then after that, everything started. So assuming that chapter two is going to be formatted in a very similar way, this is going to be that first first night at Hope's Peak video, you know. And then the next one's going to be the is going to be parallel to episode two of chapter one. And then uh, assuming they follow the same, you know, blah blah blah. Um, the third episode is going to be when things get wicked you know we find a body assuming they follow the same blah 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 so i'm gonna go on and end the episode here i might shut up i might record more today i might not record more today i don't really know but let's look that boy dead i'm going to save Love you guys. Peace out. Don't kill yourself. Suicide is not the end. <laughs>
I don't have to do with anything. I love you guys. Peace out.